This was the most beautiful custom homes I have ever used and a lot of users will agree to this for sure. We are talking about Xtroid. Unfortunately, this custom home is dead and it's no more updating right now. Even it's not updating the latest Android 13 update. It's still, it is based on Android 13, but it is not the latest Android 13. I, I tried this version, which was the last version for my device and it was from 2022. But unfortunately, it's not updated. The thing is, it, it's still good. It's amazing. The UI is so good and a lot of custom homes actually implementing this UI. If you have ever noticed after using a lot of custom homes, you might find you might found that some customers are giving you this kind of ui which xtroid was giving you previously it's dead but yes i just hope that they will come back with android 14 android 14 is quite exciting update if they will provide you but in the terms of ui and things just watch this video till the end i will let you know some of the things which are so good with xtroid Firstly, as it is having all the Pixel features, which means this is having all the Pixel goodies pre-installed. It was having the Pixel Launcher pre-installed, no Launcher 3 customization, etc. It is not a customization focused custom room, by the way. If you take a look at this is Pixel Launcher, which is pre-installed, which is a very good thing. A lot of users love Pixel Launcher on their devices, and this is one of them. You can use this thing. Quick settings panel is also in light mode, but if you're able to notice the quick setting tiles are a bit changed. It's kind of rectangular shape, looks quite good. And if you need dark mode, you can simply switch to dark mode and you will get the dark quick settings panel. By default, it's light quick settings panel. So if you use the light mode, light quick settings panel is here. If you use the dark quick settings, if you, if you use dark mode, then you have the dark quick settings panel. Else things are kind of same here. One more thing, let me tell you, if I move on here and click on wallpapers and style, you will see that we don't have the extra app grid options unlocked. This is, as you can see, it's same here. So it's not a modded pixel launcher. It's stock pixel launcher with no extra features, no extra customizations to add. This is about the default launcher, quick settings panel and wallpapers and style. But one of the main highlights of this customer was the minimal UI in settings. If you're able to notice the settings UI looks so amazing. The settings homepage settings dashboard looks good. It has a card style UI. It has different kind of UI everywhere. It was not available previously in any custom room. Right now it's available in many because they all those things are inspired from Xtroid. They took or basically they cloned as far as I know. I'm not exactly sure what actually things are going on. But Xtroid is the first one which was giving you this kind of UI. As you can see, it is also a little bit of one UI kind of vibes in settings or in minimalist customizations you will find some minimal customizations as you can see it's based on aosp which is focusing on simple and minimalism while keeping the smoothness etc you have the wallpaper zoom options typical status bar customizations which you need for example status bar items which you can enable or disable battery icon style customizations even the network speed indicator is also present here in gestures and buttons you will find the double tap options swipe to screenshot playback control all the options what you were looking forward to when a custom room are present here some useful things are present here it's not a customization focused custom room but still it brings you some useful things here and there the things which you need to do in your device as if you're using your device as a daily driver in the lock screen you will find the hide quick settings in the secure lock screen option and the disable power menu on lock screen option we also have the ripple effect option available which you can disable it's enabled by default same thing is like the charging animation which is also enabled by default but you can disable that we also have some miscellaneous options like spoofing options unlimited photo storage is what you get by default unlock higher fps in games advanced restart also the options related to settings and ignore window secure flags all the useful things what you were looking forward to are already present here could be a very good choice for you if you are looking forward to this is about the extroid this was about the ui as it is having some amazing ui things you will definitely love after using this thing if this custom home is available for your device you should check it out. Uh, yes, it's a bit old, but let's hope if they will revive with Android 14. I just hope that for sure because I, I just love this custom home. Let me know in the comment box if you also love to use this custom home or if you are also looking forward to this one if they come back with Android 14. So this is all from today's short and simple video. Hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.